Have you ever been to an actual escape room? I tell you, having done the film Escape Room, I thought uh, I thought I'd do quite well and came in pretty confident, but um, that wasn't the case. We could not get out in time. <laughs> we were pretty terrible. Did you see or know anything about the first Escape Room film before you joined the cast for Escape Room 2? I did. I actually auditioned for the first one and I think was 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 close or hopefully it was close back in the day and I got to meet the director and was a big fan of it and um, was really glad that a sequel came along and I was able to jump on board. Um, the first one was a really, really fun ride and uh, something I was a big fan of and, and uh, I was I was quite excited to have the opportunity to join the sequel. That's awesome. I actually read, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that you're not super great at watching scary movies. Yeah, I'm a big scaredy cat. I am. <laughs> but, um, but I love a thriller and this is a psychological thriller. So I was, uh, uh, I was really excited to be a part of this one. Yeah, that, that's cool. I am a self-confessed terrible horror movie person as well. So I totally get where you're coming from. So your character Nathan in the film is a priest, which I found really interesting. Did Nathan's faith make him more interesting to play? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, his character alone is, is interesting before even throwing him into an escape room, but he is a He's a priest and he's, you know, working through Survivor's Guild having um, survived his own escape room. Um, uh, and, you know, maybe a, a, a bit of a drinker too. And all these things already created someone quite interesting before even throwing him into um, the game with five other people. Yeah, there's so much tension in the film. You know, how did you kind of mentally prepare to go into that place where there's so much adrenaline and you're really fighting for your life? Uh, I, I, I had done a horror uh, three years ago, but this uh, and the scale of this film meant that you really, it, it, it took a long time to shoot and with the special effects and everything was actually, most of it was was practical effects, not, not too much CGI. So um those things make for quite a slow shoot and having to stay at a at a at a point of high tension for so long was uh was the job and the challenge and the and the real joy um but certainly a, a different experience for me and something i really enjoyed doing i had a wonderful time with the the cast i mean uh, the uh the six of us got quite close we we shot the film in south africa um and i think any time that you you know, you, you, you work towards a common goal with common obstacles um, of, and, 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 and you, we, we shot six day weeks and we were in a point of high tension, a lot of screaming, a lot of yelling. Um, that all meant that we, uh, we released a lot of ourselves and got to, got to be quite close with each other by the end of it. Obviously there's so much talent in, in the movie. What was it like working alongside people like Taylor Russell and Logan Miller that are, you know, really coming to their careers as well? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's, that's, that's the real joy of this, this job. And when you, when you land a, a, a role like this, I was so excited to just be a part of this film, of course, but actually to work with such, such talented young and up and coming actors. It really keeps you on your toes and, and forces you to do your best work. But, um, you know, sometimes you, you can be in character on set doing your thing and, and you see, uh, you see peers of yours or idols of yours, um, in, in their element. And, uh, and you kind of, you, you kind of slip out of character. You're like, wow, is this, is this really happening? Um, it's a, uh, it's a real joy. And I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Everyone's really, really good uh, in the film. And I'm wondering, what about Adam Robertel? How was it working with him as a director? He's fantastic. He, um, he's a very visual director. And I think that's why the film looks uh, so good. Him and, uh, and our DOP, Mark Spicer, who's actually another Australian. Um, uh, they, uh, they they worked so hard to make this as as I guess 
sexy as, as it is. The colors and the, 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 the special effects all really gel together for it to be a very fluid experience and, and very immersive. Um, you know, even being a part of the film, I, I got to see the film two weeks ago and I kind of forgot I was a part of it. I, I was so enthralled and, and um, locked into the, the story and the experience that um, I, uh, yeah, forgot, <laughs> forgot I was even in it. <laughs> That would have been a really cool experience seeing the film back and, you know, watching everyone's hard work pay off. Uh, but I'd love to talk a bit more about, you know, you personally, your acting career. When did you realise acting was what you wanted to pursue? I was, I was really young. I started making movies when I was 10, 10, 11, the family, uh, family video camera. Um, I've got three beautiful young sisters who are all actors too. And I think, uh, I think they're all actors because I started making movies as a kid and they were always my, my lead actors. Um, and uh, that was always kind of our hobby and the thing that, that kept, us, uh, kept us so close as a family. And then I, I went on to do drama at school and, and uh, went on to drama school and, um, and I've been working in the, the States for the last eight, eight or so years. So um, that's, that's, that's been my, my ride. Wow, that's really interesting to hear that your siblings are also actors. How do you guys kind of go about working together and, um, you know, sharing what kind of projects you're all working on? Is it kind of nice to have your siblings in the business too? It makes it so much, uh, so much more fun. Um, every win for each other is a, is a win for the team. Um, we're all super supportive of each other um, and it's... Um, it means we all understand the, the ups and downs of the business. You know, it can be quite, quite difficult at times. Uh, and to be able to share it, you know, with your three siblings uh, means that we're, we're kind of a team and we're there for each other. And we, we know, we know how, how tough it can be to, to, to have some downs, but how wonderful it is when you, when you do land something or, or you know, something, something works out. It must be really nice to have that support system. Um, I can definitely imagine. And I'm wondering, you know, you kind of um, lent on it there a little bit, but what's the, what would you say the biggest challenge is that you've faced in your career so far? The biggest challenge is, you know, I think the, the, the business is the, the business. I think it just runs on a, on a certain fuel sometimes and it, and it can, um, uh it, it can it can get to you in terms of what what you think is important um i've been really lucky to keep have a have a wonderful family that that's uh kept me grounded I, and i've kept them grounded too but um you know we we do try to keep a level head and not be too um too affected by by it um you know, there's that great line in uh, Kipling's poem um, to meet with triumph and disaster and treat you know, those two imposters just the same, you know, whatever happens, it's, uh, it's okay. And life is, uh, life is so much more than, uh, than this. And it's just about enjoying the process instead of um, being affected by the lows or, or too stoked with the highs. That's really lovely. Uh, and there's so many aspiring actors, you know, from Australia, like yourself, what advice would you give to young Aussie actors that want to give it a crack and enter the industry? Um, settle into uh, why you want to do it. I think that's kind of the, the same thing. I think you can easily uh, get lost into, um, you know, wanting, uh, wanting the wrong things. Um, and it's, it's process over prize. Um, you know, someone explained that that movie making or, or, or you know acting in, in in TV or film is is like a roller coaster, and uh, and it could be up and down and and difficult and um, whatever. And at the end of the day, there's just that snapshot at the end of the roller coaster. And if you're only working for that that photo at the end of the roller coaster, then you miss the whole ride. So enjoy the whole ride and don't don't worry about about the picture and the final picture. Yeah, that's, that's really good advice, I think. Um, it actually makes me think even of, you know, like social media and the way that we kind of go about our lives now and people looking at that final product. That's exactly it. Yeah, 
uh, there's a lot of social pressures. I think the world is changing and um, uh, there's a lot of opinions out there and you can be quite affected by what people think and what they think is right and wrong. And um, it's, uh, it's a difficult time, I think, certainly to, to come into any industry because um, everything is changing so, so rapidly. But um, I think staying true to yourself, as they say, and, and being, being quite clear about what you want and that, that being um, a level-headed thing uh, is only going to help you. Um, so I'm excited to know, can you give me any insight into any upcoming projects you're working on? Oh, yeah. Um, I actually just wrapped uh, last week um, a new HBO show. Julian Fellows is new new show called The Gilded Age. Um, Julian Fellows, who made uh, Downton Abbey. Um, and that's uh, that's been a really exciting um, uh project to work on uh we've been shooting since last september through the pandemic somehow but the show is set in new york at the um end of the 19th century in the 1880s um and set in new york during that industrial revolution where america's really becoming the, the america that we know um it's uh it's been a really special project to work on i can't wait for people to to see it so my final question is a big one, but have you ever been to an actual escape room? <laughs> I, uh, the turnaround between um, uh, getting escape room and actually going to film it was too, too quick to actually go and do a real one. But as soon as I finished it and got back to Australia, end of 2019, I had some friends take me out to do one. And um, I tell you, having done the film escape room, I thought, uh, I thought I'd do quite well and came in pretty confident, but, um, that wasn't the case. We could not get out in time. <laughs> we were pretty terrible. It, they're tough. That's very funny. I haven't done one myself, but I can imagine I would be pretty bad at it. Um, so if you're, if you're not an expert at it by now, who can be? <laughs>